welcome back. This is uh, the next uh, video in a series of trigonometry. This time we like to be able to work out how to find the missing angle if we are giving, given two sides. So let's have a look at how we can actually approach these type of questions. It's something similar to this one that you can see here. So what we'll do is just go through the process. So once again we have a right angle triangle and excuse my terrible drawing and we've got an angle but they haven't given us the angle what they've given us is they've given us this side here and they've gave us that side also so what do we do well first of all let's go through the steps first let's find what the sides are so opposite the right angle triangle we call this BH, the hypotenuse, and the side opposite the angle we call O. So we've got O, we've got H, but we want to find the angle. Now if we go back to our little sheet, do you remember the little sheet? Sine theta is equal to O over H. So we know now that this is actually equal to sine theta is equal to O over H. So let's put it in. We don't know what it is, so we can just uh, leave that as uh, just make it a little bit bigger so you can see. So we just leave it as sine theta. equals, what's O? 3 over, and what's H? 5. So how do we find this angle? Well, what we do here is we use the opposite, and it's the inverse. It actually undoes what we originally did. So to do that, we write theta is equal to, and just accept this at the moment. I don't want to go into a lot of discussion how we get that but that's how it's written and it's very easily done on a calculator that you'll see in a moment and then we use our calculator and there's our calculator and what do we do well there's sine we want that little function there so we press sine inverse and there it is and then we put 3 divided by 5 close brackets and there's the angle. It's actually 36.86 degrees. So the angle here is equal to 36.87 degrees. I and mean, if we press that little button there, it will give us 36 degrees and 52 minutes. Press it back, it just gives it all the answer uh, in, in degrees. So that's how we actually do it. So let's try another one. Just show you the method. And it doesn't matter because if you follow the method, it always works out quite well. So we uh, just draw a triangle. It has to be a right angle triangle. They ask you to find theta. They've given us this one, let's say that's uh, 4.2 and that's 11 meters. So, first step first, identify the sides. That's H. That there is O and that must be A. We have A and a H. Which function has an A and a H in it. Well, which one is A and a H? It's cosine. So we write it down. So cos theta, we don't know what the angle is. It's A over H put it in. Now we start to put the things in. Well, we don't know what it is. That's what we're trying to find. The angle 4.2 
Alega. Eleven. So just to get the angle now, we have to take the inverse. So the inverse on this side and the inverse on this side. So we just write cos and that little there tells us that it's inverse and put big brackets and put that in there. So 4.2 over 11. Using the calculator is quite easy, isn't it? You just press shift, cos inverse, 4.2 divided by 11 put the brackets and there it is so what's the angle so the angle works out to be 67.55 degrees so that actually helps us to find the angles when we have questions which requires to do that so let's have a look at a question so there's the steps uh, that we've just gone through. I'll just move the calculator out of the way so you can actually just have a look at it. So you find the sides, you find which ratio to use, you write down the ratio and then you use the inverse of that ratio to find the angle. So that's it. Then there's this special little step right there. So that's that special little step where we write this cos inverse. So now you'll be able to do all these uh, the activities and you'll find it quite easy. So we we'll look forward to the next video which will explain a little bit more on these ideas. Thank you for watching.